right, I made it four and a half hours later from the Tetons. And now I'm standing at the base of Bora Peak out here in the Lost River Range. Uh, Bora Peak is the tallest mountain in Idaho. This is something I wanted to do for quite some time. So I'm super excited. And the sunset right now is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, just on these mountains here, there's Bora up there some snow along that back ridge. This front ridge is uh, deceiving, but there's a whole another layer behind that, and that's where Bora Peak is. But these mountains are just gorgeous, and the light dusting of snow. Uh, I love the layers. I love when fall meets winter, all the colors come out. But I used my binoculars, kind of scouted the route as best as I could. It's hard to tell 5,300 feet below but we'll see. I'd rather try it and fail than never try at all. So it'll be a good, good learning lesson here. We'll see if I can do this late October summit here. And I have this nice, nice campsite. I'm the only one out here. Uh, got a fire ring and a table next to the creek there in the trees and just a really beautiful sunset across the valley there. Love, love the Alpen glow right now. All the yellows and greens contrasting with the the white and the blue up high so fingers crossed i can make it up there tomorrow bring lots of layers it's gonna be in the single digits up high at least down here it might be in the 20s or 30s in the morning but it's gonna be frigid that's for sure plus 5300 feet in less than five miles is Gonna be fun. So, started climbing about a mile in. I didn't film too much at the beginning because I just was anxious to get started, but I had to stop and get this, this Alpine Glow coming up over Bora Peak out east is so beautiful. Um, I'm trying to get a closer shot for you. Just uh, amazing. So climbing up, I've done probably a thousand feet in the first mile. I was reading the sign down at the trailhead and it said, I think 5,300 feet in just under three and a half miles, which <clears throat> probably be the most aggressive incline I've ever done over the entire course of a mountain. I've done steep sections like toward a summit, but to do it over the entire mountain, it's pretty crazy, but I'm excited. Oh my God, I just came around the corner. Look at this. This is one of the most beautiful mornings I've had in a very long time. October's been a little rough for me, but I'm pretty happy right now. The sunrise is glorious. I was feeling so tired and I get up here and I just got a fresh wave of energy. These are the days I live for. Moments like this though, I always wish all my loved ones were with me. I always wanna share these most beautiful moments of my life with people. Uh, I know they, they would fall in love with it just as much as me. <clears throat> but, the mountains always provide, the trail always provides, God always provides. What a beautiful day.
to not liking what I see. Well, loving what I see because it's magnificent. But as far as the summit, I'm not liking what I see. The conditions, Bora Peak is up in these clouds a lot higher than what we can see. And there's just a lot of clouds up there. And I have to go up and over this ridge. Chicken Out Ridge is in the clouds somewhere, which is like a kind of northwest facing slope, which means more snow and ice probably. That's kind of the part I'm most nervous about. And then from there you climb up somewhere to the summit. And usually prevailing storms come from the southwest, which is not looking terrible. I see some blue in the sky, but also lots of clouds co covering all the summits. Uh, but what gives me hope is out here, this blue sky in the northeast and the sun coming in. And the way the sun is this time of year, it's going to kind of arc, arc that way. So I'm hoping, I'm going to keep climbing. I'm hoping it'll help clear out these clouds once it gets overhead more and some of that heat will hopefully release, release the sun or release the clouds. I'm the only one up here. I passed a couple like right at the beginning of the trailhead. Um, but yeah, it's uh, beautiful out here. It's amazing being up this high alone. Although, like I said earlier, I would love to have the boys with me. I know they'd love the challenge of this climb. I wish, you know, all my loved ones are here. Uh, this is just something everyone deserves to see. It's absolutely breathtaking. Getting close to Chicken Out Ridge, kind of got a steep climb up here behind me, way up there, way up there. Um, but there's hope, praying this blue sky continues to clear out. That's Bora Peak. Uh, sorry, I'm doing this backwards uh, right there. Or maybe, maybe in the clouds. Hard to know, there's lots of false summits in the mountains. But the blue sky is good news and pretty light out like the sun seems like it might be able to push these clouds through and it's just some like wisps of clouds like blocking my view but if I get up and around it maybe maybe I'll uh I'll get lucky um, it's beautiful snow on these peaks it's a lot cloudier behind me which is my main concern but wow Bora Peak just looks incredible So you can kind of see it now through the fog and clouds. There's like a ridge here. I don't know if this is visible on the camera with, as with my eye, but then there's the notch there. So Chicken Out Ridge goes across. That I'm terrified as of right now because of all the snow and ice and no sun. Um, and then that doesn't look too bad. The scramble up to the peak there. But this is the crux of the climb for sure. And there's lots of uh, gray behind me. Just seems like super thin clouds, but you gotta always be cautious in the mountains, especially at this altitude. You never know what will blow in in minutes, especially if I'm up on this chicken out ridge. I really don't want to chicken out. <laughs> I really don't. Very intimidating from down here, but I've been kind of traversing across some patches of snow and ice. But yeah, I think Chicken Ridge, just the exposure um, and these clouds, you know. Uh, when there's clouds hovering around mountains like this, um, rime, rime ice forms and, 
it's uh, super slick and it forms like with the condensation in the wind um, it's just super slick and like candle wax or like lard or something it's just super super slippery so we'll see I still have a little bit of climbing to do before I get up to the chicken out ridge so Well, I'm in the clouds now. A minute ago I could see all the way across the valley and now you can see maybe 100 yards top, tops. Still climbing up to Chicken Out Ridge. It's a steep, this is one of the steeper sections. Also don't really want to rush it right now just because if I get to Chicken Out Ridge, I'm gonna wait, wait it out, make sure I I feel like I have a good window, a good clearing. But, you know, if it comes to it as well, and I wait long enough and it's getting later in the day, I'll, I'll just turn around if I have to. Mountain will still be here. I can always come back and do it another time. As much as I don't want to do this initial climb again, I'm just socked in the clouds right now. Whew. Temps dropping like crazy. Anyone who knows me, I'm a furnace and I'm a little chilly right now even with two merino wool base layers mid layers and uh, this big puffy coat and this beanie 3,800 feet three miles it's no joke this is a formidable mountain and I feel like I'm about to learn about that even more so further than it looks it took like an hour I feel like to go like half a mile but I had to use my ice axe there's this huge drop off here and part of me said it looked like there was a trail and I started going on it but there was just too much snow and sure I could self rest but with the ice axe that's I mean that goes thousand plus feet <sighs> man this is this is challenging for sure. I just had to, there's this fixed rope line here. I had to just send down this gully over to this slab of rock. And then I'll traverse along the bottom over to another saddle at the base of Bora. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Um, even if I don't make it, I mean, this is one of my most incredible mountaineering experiences ever. These peaks are insane and the fresh layer of snow, even though it's presenting a lot of difficulties for me, is just stunning. The clouds, I'm, I love being above the clouds. And the inverted clouds are, I feel like you're in heaven up here.
So I made it to the saddle at the base of Bora. Bora Peaks up here. Um, just went across the snow field after Chicken Ridge or Chicken Owl Ridge. And it is glorious up here. Look how beautiful. I feel like I'm in the North Cascades or something. did it. Top of Idaho. 12,662 feet. Mount Bora. I got to the top and the uh, American flag was down so it was really nice to be able to plant it back in and in the cross. The cross was crooked so I planted it and I stacked stones around it. I'll use that as my reason to be up here, erecting the cross and the, the American flag. And there's this awesome box here with tons of journals of everyone who's made it up here. And I wrote about a page in there as always. I'm not going to write in my journal up here because I need to eat something and get down rather quick. Amazing. My third state high point. Definitely the hardest. West Virginia and Tennessee are a little bit easier. So we'll see what other state high points I can get in the future. I prayed really hard today climbing. Just feeling like, you know, there's times where I might not make it down. And I still might not. Obviously I have to make it down still. But just knowing on the way up all the exposure the snow and the ice but trusting my intuition and that's kind of what I wrote in the uh, the journal talked about how it's a beautiful day I almost chickened out at chicken chicken outridge um, and there was a moment of indecision where I said I can traverse the path where there's a thousand foot snow slide if I make one mistake, unless I self rest, and even then it's hard to get out of that. Or I can traverse the knife edge, which is what I ended up doing. But in that moment, on my phone background screen, I have different pictures of me or nature and a handful of verses. Um, and I just happened to look at my phone and the one the one was Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And, and so I kept going. I did the knife edge. Then I felt like the snow field was doable and I did the snow field. And I got over to the saddle and I said, man, that's a steep climb up to Mount Bora but nothing I haven't done. It just was a little bit more snow and ice. So this is a new experience for me. It gave me a challenge and I'm, I'm happy I did it. And I know when people, when people hate when I say this, but if I do die, I die doing what I love, doing what I feel like God wants me to do in my life. And, and that's all I want in life. Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional up here. I'm just really happy. <clears throat> really happy. Um, there's a lot of things that have happened in my life where I 
shouldn't be here today. And the fact that I'm standing up here right now is a testament to God's hand in my life and the support I get from all my family and friends. And I always grew up not feeling like I deserved anything. But I'm so happy they're in my life. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Life is beautiful. All right, now that I'm over my emotional moment of crying, um, sorry, I just get overwhelmed up here sometimes. I said something in one of my journals, I forget, how when we elevate ourselves physically, we also elevate ourselves mentally and emotionally and spiritually. And that's so true for me. Uh, when I push myself to do these sometimes seemingly impossible mountains, when I get to the top, just everything I went through today, but in life comes to the forefront. All the past traumas and hurt, um, whether I did it to other people or it was instilled on me, it resonates deeply. And um, pushing myself like this helps me to become a better person, I believe. It, it, I'm just going off a whim. I'm just sharing. I'm just being open. But <clears throat> it feels like I can be a better friend, a better um, son, better brother. Uh, better future husband and father one day. Um, it just... It just builds character. And you realize what's important in life. And I said in my post last week how... How... Um, shoot, what did I say? Sorry, I'm at 12,000 something feet. My brain is not functioning. <laughs> oh, how I spend excessive amounts of time alone which is probably pretty obvious but it just gives me a lot of time to think and pray and 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 just focus on what's important in life and you know i think all these challenging mountains for bringing that to the forefront it's something it's hard to face i haven't had service in um 24 hours and not that long really but when you're out here with no reception, nobody else, just you and nature and God, and it it speaks to you. It, it just opens up parts of you down in your heart and soul and in your mind that I know I used to push away, push it deep down and bury it. Um, and I would just hide it and act like everything was beautiful and perfect and that's just not life and um again my last post you know uh if you embrace purpose god has purpose for you if you embrace that you embrace pain your plan for life is purposeful not painless and if you can walk fully into that purpose it'll change your life um <clears throat> i always think back to the quick decision I made of jumping from Amazon to moving across the country to be a park ranger and something I never thought I would do truly I was like that's something uh, made of dreams um, but I didn't think it'd be reality and I took a leap of faith and honestly since then my life has changed drastically for the better and um, by doing so I'm able to focus on my mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual health, and they're all intertwined. And and I'm just, I mean, I still have struggles, trust me, finances, uh, you know, other hardships, um, some personal stuff, but it's, it's amazing what can happen when you take one leap of faith and then it just keeps going. You build confidence in yourself to trust in God and follow follow the path set out before you um, and progress isn't straight and up um, it's up down left back right 
every which direction. Same with like climbing a mountain. Sometimes you climb up, then you got to down climb, then you got to traverse the ridge, and you got to go back because you took a wrong way. And um, that's what I love about being out here is that it teaches you about life and how to navigate it and how to trust in yourself. And um, it's such a hard thing to climb a mountain sometimes, and then you get back down and you have all the luxuries and amenities that a lot of people in the world still don't have, like running water and a vehicle and I can drive across the country and see my family in three days, which is what I'll be doing in a couple weeks. And uh, uh, it just makes you appreciate life and have a certain amount of gratitude for everything that's been bestowed upon you. Not to say that aren't, there aren't struggles again, but um, just makes you realize what's important in life. and. And I talked about this similar type of thing because again, I was backpacking on the Teton Crest Trail in August and I posted a video and I was really afraid to post that because I was kind of emotional and just spilling my heart and what I was feeling in that moment. But it was raw and authentic and a lot of people resonated with it and people messaged me and were like, thank you for sharing. And so, you know, that's what I feel called to do. Um, yeah, a grown man crying on a mountain, like what? <laughs> but. I'd rather do that because that's who I am and have it help people. Um, even if it's one, if it's nobody, maybe someone resonates, I don't know. Um, but that's what I feel called to do in life. And uh, I just want to say thank you to those who always reach out and say things and, and are there for me, whether far or near. And you have no idea how much it means to me. Um, I'm truly grateful for you and I love all of you. So, all right, I'm at like six minutes now. I could do a whole freaking podcast or TV show, but uh, I need to get down this mountain. I got like four hours of daylight, so uh, wish me luck going down. There is Chicken Out Ridge right in front. I don't know how well it's gonna show up with the sun glaring on us here, but um, yeah, that's called the knife's edge. And it looks the same on the other side. So a ton of exposure on either side. You just kind of traverse over the top. And I've got to go down, 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 down along this wall here. Once I'm down there, to the flatter part of the wall. There's more of a trail. All of this is kind of finding your own way all the way up to Bora here. But once I'm down there, not that I'm out of the woods, but it's just a few miles descent steep down to the truck. And then I can go buy all of my beverages. <sighs> There's a joke pretty much with anyone who hikes with me knows I buy like seven beverages after any hard day out in the mountains and that's uh today for sure anyways yeah very excited for my seven beverages how can I possibly drink that much takes a lot of fluids to get a big boy like me up here so Powerade chocolate milk There she is, Mount Bora, a beauty. My face is all red, I'm burning up. I didn't want to stop on any of the sketchy spots to take off my winter coat and my beanie, so I'm feeling it. And I probably got a little, little sunburn from the snow, the reflection off the sun, but I'm very happy. Um, there's multiple times I thought about turning around. I'm glad I did it. I don't think I did anything too crazy over the top for like my comfort level. And doing stuff like this gives me 
uh, more mountaineering, uh, more mountaineering experience, which is what I want. Um, and then I can trust myself to take the boys on these trips every year. You know, we do our annual guys trip, and, and to feel like I can, you know, give people the right advice, whether they're friends or <clears throat> if they're visitors when I'm working at the Tetons. Uh, it's all a good experience and uh, gives me a sense of fulfillment, but um, I really enjoy sharing, sh uh, sharing stories with everyone. That's the best part of it all, is being able to share it with everyone. Um, and I'd love to get more people to come out here and do this stuff with me because it's awesome. All right, just for perspective, I went up this ridge. That's Chicken Out Ridge up there. Kind of traverse along the knife edge and you can kind of see the white line. It's just this little pivot in the side of the mountain. Very steep, filled with snow anywhere from ankle to knee deep. If you slide, you're going down, down, down. And then traverse around that, up to the saddle, nice and flat. And then up, 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 up we go. Up this couloir, kind of that white line with the snowy plasma idea that I'm talking about. Up to the left and then back up to the right to the, to the summit. But yeah, that, that's the route there. I, uh, my watch was about to die, so I stopped it a little early, but I was pretty much like nine hours on the dot, um, which I'm pretty proud of because the sign down here says average hiker takes about six to seven to go up and about 12 round trip. So nine, considering the ice and snow conditions as well, um, just a little trick here uh, with footing and route finding, I'm pretty proud of that uh, so but I'm more proud that I'm alive so uh, I won't lie there's spots where I'm like oh you know this could end badly but I'm glad I persevered and I'm really proud that I'm back down here but what I'm very excited to stop and get some gas and my seven beverages chocolate milk sounds so good right now Oh, wow, what a day. Today felt like three days. I've noticed when you like immerse yourself in nature, time moves at nature's pace, which is slow and gradual, but it's because you're in the moment, you're very present. And I felt very present today. Every step focused, thinking about a lot in my life and the upcoming trip home to Ohio for the winter. Uh, there's the truck and to all a good night.